everyone welcome back. And this is my review of this one of the of the uh, manga series Attack on Titan before the fall. And this and uh, chapter one is entitled Titan's Child. Okay. Yes, in Titan's Child. Oh boy. I really don't want to think about this chapter. It was you didn't get a whole lot, although the end of the chapter here is definitely the best part. I'll explain why. So apparently this is 70 years before the series. Before the original series. Even though... Even though this is for, I thought this was be 100 years before the start of the original series. It's supposed to be before the attack a century, over a century ago. You know, before the wall fell. Isn't that why it's back then? Isn't that why it's called before the fall? Either that or maybe, either that or maybe like before the initial fall of humanity, like before the Titans showed up. That would have been pretty fun. I hope that happened. Oh my god. But anyway, apparently the attack, I heard it could be a fact. But, and now it's like 50, 50 some, or it's like now, now it's like 50 some years in the past, or or 80 some years in the past because it was a 13 year time skip at the end there. But basically, you get a lot more uh, religious folk in this worshiping the Titan. So apparently, that was the one back then. And this one survey corps member's a wife was apparently leading these people. I don't know if she was truly believing what they were believing or if she was just in some sort of a trance or something, because they did bring that up. Maybe she was in a trance. But, no, uh, I don't know. She died pretty quickly, so I don't really care about her. Um, and, you know, her husband, her husband died first. His head was, like, rolling around. So, yeah. Um, and she was eaten by a titan, and then the titan, of course, vomited her up, and out of her came a, a live infant, and they captured it. All right, and there are the fewest survey course members in this uh, in this chapter, and it makes me wonder if they're going to be in the next chapter. As well. they did, they didn't fucking make it. Usually, if usually if Attack on Titan gives gives the character a name, that character is going to be a crucial part of the plot, or that character you're going to really, really like that character before it dies. I trust. Anyway. Um. Anyway, though. So it makes me wonder, but whatever. And, of course, the end of this chapter, which was 13 years later, that Titan Child, as I'm sure it is, is, is 13 years old now, and it's locked up in prison now. There's, lo there's lots of theories roaming around about what exactly that child is. I don't exactly have any myself, because, like, I really don't know. I mean... Like, maybe that, ti that child has Titan DNA, or Titan, uh... Has, like, Titan DNA or something? Yeah, because... I mean, did his father have tight have Titan DNA and just not know it or just not tell anyone? And so when he impregnated his wife, then his son had Titan DNA? I don't know. I have a theory now. What if that child is Aaron's dad? Stay with me now. Okay, because we know that when someone goes into a titan form, they don't age. For the time that they're in their titan form, they don't age. So it could be... Isha, I think his name is, or something like that. Titan, uh... Went into his titan form enough times to where he could temporarily stop aging all those times. And then, like, 
and then you know he eventually met Carla, Aaron's mother, and made Aaron, and and that's why he's able to turn people into titans. I think it's a viable theory. <laughs> so, But anyways, though, other than that, I really don't have anything else to say about this chapter. It was a pretty good chapter, pretty long, thankfully, since the pro prologue was just 11 pages, I think it was. This is like 49, so yeah. Pretty long chapter, really good, too. Um, so yeah, and overall, I just really enjoyed it. It opened up a lot of questions, but it ultimately... Uh, but ultimately, I think it's going to turn out to be pretty good. So yeah. Anyway, overall, you guys, you guys for watching. Bye bye.